dude. One of the characteristics that makes Compressor Head successful, I think, is really that dynamic range between the two of us. Ow, dude. Can we try that again? Do sure. We, do we want to do that again? Compressor Head is a universe of knowledge. It was my way of trying to rekindle a love for this sort of lost computer science art. So here's the tricky part with arithmetic compression. Why the hell does it work? I mean, Even if you're a PhD in computer science, you really aren't taught these core fundamental algorithms of I never was. How would you teach the most complex thing possible to a three-year-old? Well, you wouldn't do it with a computer. You wouldn't do it with a diagram. You would put like blocks and sticky tape and really bright colors to show them things moving in space. And I said, well, if that's how I would teach a three-year-old arithmetic compression, obviously it would work on a programmer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Huh. I remember when we pitched it the first time mm -hmm. internally, we were like, we want to do this crazy thing where we talk about compression and we use Play-Doh. Oh, right. And like, just deadpan from everybody we pitched it, they're like, I don't, why? Mm. We shot a prototype. And we didn't tell anybody we were shooting a prototype. And then we just handed the video to people. And it, it kind of went viral internally, mm -hmm. if you remember. Like yeah, all of a sudden, yeah. like my boss's boss's boss saw it. And they were like, yeah, this is great, we want more. And then all of a sudden, like overnight, everyone wanted Compressor Head. There's something in this video series just for you. It really was uh, Brian's vision to do a show that was different than what we'd done before. What was it, the rules of Compressor Head? Yeah, you can't walk in with any props in your hand and everything that you use has to come from the room. At Google, there's this place called The Garage hmm. that is made to develop community and collaboration. We found out that we could go into this room, we could use it like a studio. Mm -hmm. There were so many possibilities. It had so much junk in it for us to make things out of that we could actually go on set with Colt's ideas and make stuff that represented them pretty much in real time right before we started shooting. Part of the mania of Compressor Head is literally about the fact that none of us know what we're doing until five minutes beforehand. And the fact that all of us on the shoot, all of us around it just kind of have to be okay with that. Uh, literally, I mean, we, we do- The lighting the guy doesn't like it. The two ended up creating the Burroughs Wheeler Transform algorithm. For me, the magic was really meeting Mike Burroughs, or as he prefers to be called on the internet, yeah. Mike f***ing Burroughs. That's what he goes by. Uh, Mike's, I mean, the co-inventor of Burroughs Wheeler Transform, and he works here at Google. Charming man, but you talk to him about the invention of Burroughs Wheeler Transform, and you realize it, it should be the stuff of cinema. Like, this story is so amazing and dynamic, and you're just like, why is why does no one know about this? Why is this not published? Why is this not on the Wikipedia page, for God's sake? Just getting a chance to meet someone who was a part of that was, like, I kind of fanboyed out a little bit. Like, I got red. One time he caught his finger in that. It was actually pretty funny. <laughs> uh, you know what was number two for me? Hmm. Magnus. Yeah, man, right. let's do it! Ready? Magnus. The power of Magnus in that scene. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah! If you keep up with the Play Services What's New videos, Magnus is the guy who does them. And Magnus's energy is just so higher than any of us can just even get close to. And then number three was Joanna. I want you to go and do your job and tell them exactly how to succeed with compression. Joanna did a fantastic job. She really didn't have to act in that role. She really does hate me that much. Uh -huh. And she I hates what I do that much. Yeah, that I it, tell. It, it was perfect. We gotta talk about the dynamic arithmetic. Some of us have real work to do. She has so little respect for she you. She does. So anyway, we're trying a bunch of different things. Tell us what you like. We did season two because I could not walk through a conference without people stopping me and asking for more. Mm -hmm. That's why we do these things is for developers out there. And so if the developers want more and we hear them wanting more, we'll do season three in a heartbeat. The best thing about working with Brian that really humbles me is his patience. I mean, to have some crazy bald guy running around, here's all this crazy stuff, and uh, you know, iterating back and forth between UI about the movement and the shot and the direction, and then someone who actually has a background in film, like actually being patient with all the craziness that I bring to the table and the last minuteness, and like that thing kind of makes this magic happen. It's the mania kind of makes it magical in that regard, and, and Brian's ability to, to manifest that and make it happen is really cool. I enjoy every moment of it. Well, it's the cursing, really, that brings us together as a team. The dirty talk. <laughs> if I was gonna work with one of the guys here, this would be the guy that would go do something crazy with me and I wanted to do something crazy. <laughs> he is known to make everybody a little bit better than they were, and uh, I feel like that's happened to me as well. I've learned more about compression than I ever <laughs> thought I'd want to. It's really like the most fun I think I've had at work. We get it done. We get it done. Fist, fist bump. Boom!
My name is Colt McCamless, and this is Compressor Head.